Hey guys, Chip here. A Design Magic user and Patreon customer just asked the question how they could create kind of a bulkhead with some sort of arrayed bolts on the top and then mirror them to the bottom. And how would you do that and keep all those things non-destructive? So let's talk about that. So here we have a cube. I'm going to tab into this. You can see we just have just a regular cube. Origins in the center. And what I'll do is I'll go over here to my Design Agit widget collection and I'll just grab this bolt X. And what I'll do is with this set to face, face mode F, I'm going to add that insert and I'll scale it up a little bit, like just like that. Now what I want to do is I want to actually put a, now what I want to do is I want to put an empty directly at the center of this. So if you look at where we're at right now, you can see that our origin is a little bit below. If I turn this into regular mode and I just select this. You'll see that our origin is is directly on the surface and if i turn off smart mode you'll see the origin moves down and so what i want to do is i want to turn off smart mode i want to make sure that i have this origin set directly on the surface of this cube just like this let's turn off our face orientation now that that's done we will snap the cursor to select it so now we have a cursor directly at the same center as that and then i'll shift a and we'll get it, just add a regular empty. So there's our empty st sitting right in the middle like that. Notice that the origin here is not the same. So we don't have the origin in the same spot. So what I'm going to do is with this set the way it is, I will go object snap selection to cursor. So that moves that up in the same spot. I can move it back down very easily by just tabbing into this whole thing, hitting A, and I'll just move it back down, something like this. So we have kind of sticking its head out a little bit. So, But notice that our origin is still the same. I'm going to take this object and I'm going to add a modifier and it's going to be an array modifier. And I want this, let's do five. Let's say we're going to move five and zero. And then my object offset, I want to go ahead and click this little eyedropper and choose our empty, right? And I'm going to take this other piece right here and then select the cutter. So now I've got two objects selected and I want to transfer this array over to the other one. And that's easily done by object link transfer data, copy modifiers. So now if I just look at this, I have the exact same array. Now I go into smart mode. That means that anytime I select one, I'm going to select the other one, right? You can see that. So, so here's this. And what I could do is I'm going to tab into both of these, hit a, and I'm going to move them out. Now notice what's going on. We've got a bunch of different things happening here. And the reason for this, I'm going to undo this, is that I have a strange scale. So if I tab out of here, I've got this scale set. So I'm going to go Control-8, uh, rotation and scale for that. And I'll grab this other one down below, this bolt hex right here. I can't select it. Why? Because I'm in smart mode. Control-A, rotation and scale. Okay, now I'm back in smart mode. And what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and first select the empty. And I'll go at, and since I have five of these, I'm going to go into rotation 360 and divided by five. We just do the math there. So we've done that. Now I'll select this. And because we're in smart mode, I'm selecting both. So when I tab into them and I hit A, I've got everything selected. And if I just move it along the X axis, you can see I'm moving them around quite nicely. So that's how I can do that. Now let's say, yeah, I chip, but I don't want five. I want seven. Okay, so let's do seven. So I'll tab back out and I'll say, seven and i'll go back into our empty and i'll go and say okay 360 divided by seven and there's our seven and then remember we're going to have to transfer the modifiers to the other one as well so i'll go back into kid ops and i can do all of this by the way in regular mode i just got to remember to make sure i select everything so it's like this it's like that and we'll go under object and we'll say link transfer data, copy modifiers, and now we have all of them. Now, now I do want to be in smart mode for this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror it to the bottom. So first I need to make sure that I've targeted, that's my target object, and then I just hit mirror Z, and now I've got this object mirrored nicely at the bottom. Add a modifier, we'll just put a bevel on this, move that to the top. There we go. So you can see. Okay, so let's, let's say I want to scale this. So I just hit the S button and start scaling. Now, I, if I do it in the object mode, I can do it. I'm actually going to be better off uh, doing it in the edit mode. So I will want to be in smart mode and select <clears throat> select the object and then say tab now and hit A and then hit S. And now I can scale them and I can move them around however I want to. So and that's how that works. So 
of course it's going to mirror it to the bottom side as well and let's just let me see here's our nice object hope that explains it i hope that uh, that's helpful for you i know that rotation arrays can be somewhat complicated but the goal here is to show you how blender handles all of that thanks for watching see you bye